Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner. So I have, I'm just refreshing my computer so I can say hi. Sorry, the internet was doing something weird, and so I started and it wasn't working, so I've started over. All right, so yay, we're in business. Okay, so I have this month's paper pumpkin kit. Um, I always do a short intro just in case you don't know what Paper Pumpkin is. Paper Pumpkin is Stampin' Up's um, monthly kit in the mail. Uh, I don't know. I think it's like $22. That's with shipping. Um, they send it to you in your mailbox. But you have to subscribe by the 10th of each month to get it. So this one, I'm, I've seen a few sneak peeks. I've seen a couple pictures. It's really awesome. We're going to look at it together. Um, if you want next month, so you can't get this. So it's always a little interesting doing a live video of this because if you're a new customer, you might be like, oh my gosh, I want that kit. Um, you can't actually get it. Um, but next month is going to be really awesome too. And it's going to coordinate, which I'm betting there's a flyer. Ha ha, go paper pumpkin team. Part two, oh my gosh, look at that. There's probably going to be some wood, um, some wood grain things in there. What does this say? 24 over the top tags in four designs for next month. I bet you could make those tags into cards too. I totally bet you could do that. Um, so if you want to get this, you have to subscribe between now and November 10th. Occasionally, so if you subscribe now, occasionally, after the six, after the 20th of the month, if they have any kits left and if they have, um, what do they call it? Refills, so it won't include the stamp and the ink, but refills, it'll be the bundle of the papers and stuff. They offer them um, on the Stampin' Up! website that you can buy them. So you can buy them from me. So anyway, so maybe you want next month's if you didn't get this month's. All right, so we have a Knight of Navy ink spot. Oh, those are cute. Okay, so that cute little bird. We've got that cute little bird, and I like this snowflake a lot. Seasons, greetings, winter, wishes. Okay, what's this say? Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And then like little dots. So nice basic stamps. Okay. And it always has a pretty tissue paper. So this is great for gift giving. Holidays are coming. Hanukkah, Christmas. Um, maybe even um, you want to get a couple. Oh, when? We would have it. So if you order this kit, you would have it before Thanksgiving. You could make tags with friends and family over the Thanksgiving holiday if you wanted. Um, oh my goodness. Can you see that? It's a glare because of the plastic. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. All right, let's open it up because it's got... So, okay, the general idea, again, going to the idea, if you're a newer um, stamper or crafter, um, or if you haven't gotten Paper Pumpkin before... It's the idea that it's all in one box. Yes, you can add other things to it, which is part of the fun, but definitely the idea is it's all in the box, and so you can make your projects with what is here. Just throw the wrapper on the floor. I'll pick it up later. Um, and so the first one, if you've never subscribed, you're going to get a block. You're going to get um, not a fat Stampin' Up! block like this, but it's about a half a block that you can use. So with that, so I like to take them when I travel, um, if you're going to be in a hotel, oh my gosh, you guys, what in the world? Stampin' Up! is getting, okay, they're getting really good for $22. I think it's $22. We get all of this. Okay, I'm going to open this packet in a second. But the idea is everything's here. So yes, the paper is not quite as thick and quite as beautiful as our standard paper. Um, but you get all this stuff. So here's some labels. They're not sticky. They're just, uh, paper. Ooh, look at those pretty envelopes. But I will say, um, look at that inside. Paper pumpkin envelopes are really nice because they often come with this inside or with little trim. So those are, those look fancy. And look at that. And so the idea is, yes, I didn't stamp this or watercolor this, but is that tree beautiful? But it's the idea is that I can make some quick projects. Are they all the same? Yes. Okay. So it's all the same this time. So it's all cards. And here's some more labels. Okay, let's see, the little cardboard piece. It does come with these uh, glue dots. Okay, I'm gonna tell you, you should just order some glue dots from me because they're way easier and quicker to use. But if you're new and you don't have a lot of things, they will work. I'm not gonna use them because on a video it would take forever. Um, so, and then there's, oh, look at that. They gave ideas. Look at that cute little frame. Oh my gosh, I need to take a picture of it so I can like enlarge it. Look at me. I'm enlarging it. I can't enlarge it. Look at that. Oh my
my goodness, you know I love a little framed art. That is adorable. Okay, so, I and I'm always rambling on these videos. It's late, um, I get excited. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna open this and see what's in here. So we have some nice mini, oh, it's sparkly paper. I did not know that. Oh my goodness, and look, the bird's already die cut. And there's two, and they face each, can you see that? Let's see. They face each other. Okay, so you do have a bird stamp, but you have little teeny bird die cuts. That'll show you a little easier, that they face each other. They are adorable. Okay, but I did not really know that this paper, let me pick up one of these. These die cuts are sparkly. I think maybe you can tell that they're sparkly on there. Look at that, they're sparkly, how cool is that? Oh, they're lovely. Okay, so we're just gonna make a card. Oh, and they're snowflakes. Look at those cute little snowflakes. Okay, so Knight of Navy is the ink. So I'm gonna pull out my Knight of Navy so I don't have to open the ink spot. But when I travel, I use those ink spots because they're super quick and super easy. All right, then you have nice big pictures. So a lot of times you can figure it out from the picture, but they do give you instructions. Oh, we get to stamp the snowflake texture. I like how they said that, snowflake texture. I, I'm a fan of snowflake texture. Then we're gonna put the trees on with dimensionals. And then we are gonna stamp a greeting. Oh, super easy, and then add some um, cardinals. Okay, I think I can do it. Let's see if we can do it. So the idea is that these are quick and easy. So you could make a bunch. These are great for crafting with, um, you know, with kids, especially if you've got, you know, the preteen or teenagers. You could go littler. I'm getting a block here. You could go littler, um, but I don't know if in this case, this is really pretty, but you might, they could help. They could totally do this if your kid was like in second or third grade, I would think. All right, so we are gonna stamp our snowflake texture. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna fold it in half so it can come off. So always have uh, some paper. You can use a piece of copy paper, a piece of notebook paper. Of course, I can sell you some fancy grid paper because it's got nice little, There we go, snowflake texture, done. Okay, season's greetings is gonna go on this. So, and these are pre-die cut. So the idea is you don't have to have a die cut machine. Um, so that's what makes kits and our paper pumpkin set so nice. I'm gonna go with seasons. You know, I'm gonna go with winter wishes. That's pretty. So you could use now winter wishes, right? What else could you stamp on here? You could stamp happy birthday. I'm sure we got a happy birthday stamp. If you've been getting paper pumpkin for a while, you might have one. All right, I gotta get another block. Let's just do this one. So if you only have the one block, you would clean this. You could stamp it off. Um, you could clean it with a little water, damp paper towel. Um, we sell a super awesome chamois that I, I just keep it damp. Um, so you could do that. Okay, so you, you would want to clean it, and then you could take it off. But just to make things quicker, even though it meant I had to tell you all about it, I just put it on another block. All right, winter wishes. But you could do a happy birthday card like this. I think you could do a get well card. You know, you have your crazy friends that love winter. You could take care of them here. Okay, winter wishes. All right, so it's said to put this on with the dimensionals. Let me close the, and always close, if you're using ink pads, whether it's the little one or big one, close it up because something bad will happen. And now look at, okay, so look at that extra paper. You, if you are an avid crafter and you have other supplies, you can um, use that little piece of paper to stamp a greeting on, to punch something out. Okay, so they're a little delicate, but let's see, okay, I got them off. All right, so I'm gonna flip it over and put dimensionals. So it came with, where'd my mini dimensionals go? It came with mini dimensionals, but I'm thinking we're gonna have to cut some in half too. So um, it's gonna be super cute. And you know what? This looks, even though you're mostly just assembling, the, people are gonna be very impressed that you made this card. Very impressed. All right, let's see, will they fit behind these trees? Nope, okay, so I'm gonna cut them in half with my handy dandy scissors. All right, so if you already subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, that's something fun you could share. Um, do you normally just make the kit up as it is in its entirety? Do you make uh, alternative projects? That's fun to know. If you don't subscribe and you're watching, 
you know, and you have questions, let me know. Because, you know, we're chatting here for a while because I'm putting many dimensionals on things. Okay, do you think it fits on this tree? It does. Okay, so cut it in half. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? Um, has anyone else started making Christmas cards or holiday cards? Um, we do actually have a couple sets that say Hanukkah, but I think they're in the annual catalog. Um, we, don't, we don't have a good graphic, I don't think, but we do have the words Happy Hanukkah. Um, you know, do you send just winter cards? I know some people just like to have them be more general. Oh, there's my piece I dropped. You could totally do that. Um, so I've started making them. We had a card buffet this last weekend, and some people came and made some Christmas and fall and different holiday cards. And then I made up some for myself because I like to send holiday cards and I like it that I made them. I think that's fun. Okay. Oops. So you get to have fun putting dimensional pieces on. I better put one down here. Okay. Mm, let's put one here and put one here. So, you know, you can dimensional away. Okay. So then... Let's take this all in. Make sure you can see it. Oh my goodness. That is super cute. Okay, so you know the super fun thing. I just put dimensionals on and now I get to take them off while talking to you. Take the backs off. Okay, um, let's see. I'm working on a blog post. I just posted a picture of my... Oh, sorry. I'm bumping the camera and the light, everything. I just put... Um, it'll stop shaking in a second. I apologize. Uh, I just put my fall sampler up. The class is next week. So if you live in the Frederick area and you want to join me, let me know. Um, it's worth a road trip. It's so pretty. I, I'm very happy with it. Um, if you like to color, it's great fun. If you are uh, already got lots of supplies or you're stamping up demonstrator, I'll have the measurements and everything up tonight. After I finish this video, I'll finish the blog post. So that is very fun. And then I am going to work on the, where's my, you know what, I cut the, I cut the sticky part off. Um, I am going to work on my Christmas or wintry, I think I'll do a Christmas one and then I, we always do a winter one at the end in December that you can display in January. So I'm going to be working on that tomorrow afternoon. I do have a Just Cards class tomorrow morning. My Friday morning ladies are coming, so that's fun. So yeah, let me know what you're crafting, what you're working on. Let me know how many, we should have a contest. Who could take the backs off of the dimensionals faster? Because I'm sure half the audience has left now because they're like, oh, she's just taking the dimensionals off. But uh, that is part of the process, part of the fun. Maybe I put too many on here, okay. Sticky, sticky. Did I get them all? Oops, one more, oops. And another one. Okay, I think I'm ready. So, here's your card. Here is your wintry woods. And it fits just right. Go stamping up. Look at that. That part is now sticky to my finger. Okay, so we have the trees. And then all we're going to do, oh, this is so easy, but I love a wood grain. Totally, totally love it. So, where did, oh, we put it here. Okay, I think I should put more dimensionals on it, don't you? Because I know that was super fun. So, um, let's put three of these little guys. So, mini dimensionals are fun. I could um, probably use big ones here, too. But try to put them because you want them in the center because that's going to go down that little strip. And then that strip. And you know what? Um, we should actually do a contest where, you know what? I might post that as a picture tomorrow. Uh, where is the weirdest place you have found a dimensional back? Okay. I found one in the shower the other day, like on the shower floor. And I'm like, how in the world did it stick to me so much? And then you would use, um, the glue dots in the kit, or if you have mini glue dots, um, which come on a roll that we sell, you could use those and they'll go on a little quicker. But yeah, where have you found a dimensional back? So the shower, that's the first time I found one in the shower. I found them um, in the bathroom, especially after of a big class, because if someone goes to the bathroom, I've seen them on the floor. <laughs> and don't put it on upside down. 
turn it right way up. But yeah, where have you found a, a dimensional back? It's super funny. Winter wishes. Okay, so that goes down. Super cute. And now we need some little birds in our trees, and we're going to put them on with glue dots. I'm going to get one of each, one going each way. Oh, these are so little. Does anyone ever feel like I have clunky fingers? I do. Um, hold on. I'm going to grab my my uh, pick tool because if you have clunky fingers, this helps. I have big fingers. I'm not the most dexterous in my crafting, but oops, I got a little extra goo here. Let me take that off so I can stick. Can I stick my little guy to it? There we go. All right. So I put my little guy on here. <laughs> yeah, Marsha, the, the backs travel far. And then I'm going to stick him down. It is really funny how your craft supply. It's kind of like when you use a lot of glitter. Um, one day my husband helped me clean up. And then um, he's like, look at my hands. And his hands were like all glittery, which, you know, is super masculine. But I think, you know, he carried it off well. We should all have a little glitter in our life. Even if you're not, I'm not the biggest glitter crafter, but I, I do like it. All right, I'm going to put that on there because I don't think I can hold on to it. Where should I put this one? I think I'll put it on this little tree. And there we go. Look at that. How cute is that card? Super cute. Look at that. Pretty easy because it's all done for me. I really like that. I might make these. So I will come up with an alternative project for the... Um, Hopefully for the a paper, it's a paper pumpkin thing, a uh, blog hop. I like their blog hop and their people share great ideas. All right. I mean, it might be a framed, a little framed thing because that happens a lot with me. But um, it's a very cute card. It's a very cute set. If you're interested and want to know more, ask me questions. I am happy to share. Um, if you want to get next month, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber and you're like, oh, I love this kit. I could make a bunch of these cards for my holiday cards. Oh, wait, we should stamp the inside. Um... And if you're looking for refills, we have to wait till the 20th to see if refills are available. And you order them, not through paperpumpkin.com, but you order the refills on a regular order. Um, so you can contact me if you need me to order it for you. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. Very cute. Okay, so anyway, there we go. You need to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. It's a quick, fun, easy way to start crafting. It's great for beginners. It's great for my experienced stampers. Um, and there you go. Questions, comments, requests, let me know. Uh, look for my fall sampler going up on my blog tonight. Um, and I'll see you next time. Have fun and stay crafty. Thanks so much for watching.